now to go ahead and take the kids out of the room. We're going to be having some adult discussion this morning with Dr. Erwin Goldstein from San Diego Sexual Medicine Alvarado Hospital. He's with us now to talk about how antidepressants can actually be depressing your love life. Good morning to you, good doctor. Thank you for Thank being you here. Thank you so much for doing these things here. Absolutely. Okay, so let's talk about this. First okay. of all, a lot of Americans on are, are on antidepressants. One in ten American people over age 12 are on antidepressant medication. With women, like two and a half times more likely to be on them than men. Right. And this can also impact your your sex life. Tell yeah. me about this. So, so antidepressants are very important. There are a lot of people with mood issues that totally affect their life and they're very successful these medications. And we use them beyond for depression. We use them for panic disorders, obsessive compulsive disorders, we use them for women who have hot flashes who don't want hormones, we use it for men who have early ejaculation issues. I mean there's a lot of other uses for this. But <laughs> They raise serotonin, and serotonin is a fabulous inhibitor of the sexual reflex. So you can have low interest, poor orgasm. I mean, there are sexual side effects, and it makes people not want to take the medications, but we want people who need it to take the medication. So talk to me about this research that yes. involves uh, ever, testosterone. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. So the first ever study okay. did a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trial. That just means you knew the people and you watched them take either a random assignment of drug A or drug B. Okay. So the drug A was testosterone. I have some samples of testosterone. They're, they're over here. Mm -hmm. uh, these are men's FDA-approved products because there's no FDA-approved products of testosterone for women. I'm not sure if they can see, but um, these are some of the, the ones that these you brought things. right here. Okay. Yeah, so those are the standard testosterone things. And women take one-tenth of the dose for men. Mm -hmm. So the active drug we're given testosterone, and the randomized placebo arm got a placebo. And lo and behold, if you have a sexual side effect from the SSRI, because that was the population, mm -hmm. and you took testosterone, you, you dramatically improved your sex life again. So that means you could stay on the medication and still have your cake and eat it and have uh, an appropriate sex life with interest and orgasmic response. So that was fabulous and we've never had that information before. What are the broader implications of this? What does this mean? I mean obviously it doesn't mean anything necessarily for people right now with this issue but maybe a few years down the road? Well I think for people right now they now have a way out and still stay on their antidepressant. So they can start getting this yeah, right they now do if they this want right to. Now. The study leads us to clinical impact and I think uh, now when women present with this we'll measure their testosterone value and offer them the choice of these kinds of drugs that we just showed you. So people can go to the doctor right now and say here are my issues. They say damn it I need this medication <laughs> but I can't stand it. My husband and I are having problems, my partner and I are having problems. I, we, we need to do something that's uh, affecting our intimacy and we're going to say now this important study is saying well I can actually do something about it rather than say I don't want to be depressed, but I guess I have to have a lousy sex life because of that. We can now do something about it. So this is really important clinical information. What are some of the, the drawbacks of taking testosterone? So the study showed nobody stopped the study while on testosterone. So mm -hmm. there are a few testosterone side effects. There can be some little hair growth on the mustache area, a little acne. Uh, sometimes you can get hair loss on the end of the head, but we can manage all that. We can monitor the testosterone level on the treatment and just adjust it appropriately. Is there anybody out there that might not be a good candidate for this? Yeah, those are really good questions. Uh, obviously, you have to see your doctor, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, um, there's no issue of breast cancer, there's no heart attack, no stroke issues, there's no major health issues. So it's probably most people will be able to take the testosterone. It's really interesting as to why the testosterone was successful, and it may be that the SSRI, these antidepressant drugs, uh, may actually lower testosterone. And, and it may be one of their ways that they make you have poor sexual function mm -hmm. is by robbing you of some of the biochemistry. Interesting. Yeah, that is Irwin very Goldstein. interesting. Thank you so much for being here oh, as always. We really, really <laughs> appreciate it. If you would like to get in touch with Dr. Goldstein at San Diego Sexual Medicine at Alvarado Hospital, just go to our website. It's fox5sandiego.com. Click that scene on tab. All right, Mr. Wills, back over to you. All right, thanks.